seven minute game. Let's practice the package of the answer process if we can. Let's attack this knight. And so they're just developing. It's going to put pressure on. Let's just castle. And now that my pieces are on the other side of the board, I might as well get rid of that. <clears throat> Try and get my pieces towards our king side. He's blocked that passageway. So I could look to just double there. He's not actually doing that. So I could just take him off. And then just come from the center here. Try to simplify as best possible. <clears throat> Make some space for the rooks. He's taking the knight off the board. I'm actually just grabbing here. And then just take him with a check on the king. And then taking this pawn, attacking the bishop. Attacking this pawn as well. His rook is down. What damage is it doing? It's attacking this pawn. Um, we could take the bishop and then his knight gets developed and he's attacking this pawn. Interesting situation. Um, I'm actually going to take this pawn first. Push onto the bishop here. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece. His rook is out of the game, he's going to be taking this pawn. Knight can come round and attack the bishop again. Still got support with the knight, so the rook's probably just still going to take the pawn. Yep, like we said. So I'm going to grab the bishop. Knights hunt the bishops in our mantra. And the last thing that we're going to do is. Ooh, I thought I had a check on his king then. <clears throat> just move this rook here on the open file. He moved his knight dead quick there, he's blocking off our attack of his rook. I'm going to bring the knight across. Knight's got to check on his king. It is a 7 minute game, 0 increment. I'm on 5 minutes, they're on 6. So we don't really need to move as fast as we have been. And I think, let's have a look. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we're equal on the pawns. Knight can still put a check on their king. Yeah, we could attack his rook, but his rook's just going to dance around, isn't it? I'm going to attack the rook. Don't need to be fancy. I don't think he will exchange because he's got these two pawns he wants to corral down. So we've got... Oh, he has taken. We've got pawn majority on this side. He's got pawn majority on this side. Our knight's acting as a blocker. He's probably going to want to try and get rid of our knight being a blocker here. Like we see, we do have a check, but it's nothing major at the minute. I mean, his knight's acting as a blocker as well, so we have to look at that situation. default process now I think he's going to want to disturb this pawn by doing some sort of action like this <coughs> he's not going to be happy with our knight being in the centre of the board his knight is in the centre of the board as well we don't have any pieces that can attack it apart from oh my exact exact move <laughs> Oh, brilliant. Okay, so we could go and put the check on the king. King comes and attacks the knight. But then we take the pawn. So I think that works out quite nicely for us. So we'll go here. And then we'll take the pawn off the board. Knight still has movement here for a check on the king. Or taking this pawn. Oh, and they've resigned. Um, it seemed to be a sort of snowball effect building up. Yeah, because we do have this taking here, and then the knight does have a safe haven coming back. So that was an interesting game there. Some slow development, <coughs> a nice steady build up, and then looking at basically what the opponent was going to do. And it did look like the best move to make actually that poor move there but then on the face of it it do, did have the fork situation with the knight yep so interesting game <clears throat>